This time on Woody's garage, those tires are as rotted as your mind. All right, we've done our chores before the blizzard. We got plenty of wood here near the door. More wood over there. Uh, lots of wood upstairs, it's nice and dry. We got uh, the snow blowers we need going, going. So I think it's time to have some fun and see if we can get this piece of junk going. What we got is no spark. So I'm guessing it's the coil. Let's pull off that shroud and maybe we got another coil we can put in. Okay, we got all the wires off the uh, kill posts here. No matter what they were, I just took them all off. Let's see if we got spark now. Got some lube on the uh, head bolts and the uh, other ones necessary to take off the shroud. Maybe we won't have to though. Yes, we will. Well, here's a big surprise. The coil is inside of the flywheel. I looked up the number on jacks and everything, and it said, no, the coil's on the outside, like up here. Nope, it's under the flywheel. And, which means it has points, too. It's really weird. Okay the flywheel off then I guess. It's also kind of weird that it has that plastic fins. I have no idea what the age of this thing is. Okay we got the everything loose here. I'll put the nut on like that so we don't destroy the end of the shaft. Magnets on the flywheel. Looks like there's a red mark almost to show the position of where this is. I don't know what that white thing is. I think it's just a bug nest or something. And uh, yeah, here we go, the old familiar. I am hoping all I gotta do is uh, clean the points up a little bit. You just move this clip here aside. Sometimes a screwdriver to just pop it out put it on the side. And you gotta take the, uh, the key out. Mm. Gotta go get some pliers. Yeah, well, this is what we got. These points don't look that bad. This machine, although it looks like friggin' hell, was actually stored underneath the house. It had a bit of protection. I am just gonna see. It closed right there? Yeah, they're pretty much closed. I don't think I can get this sandpaper in there. points haha <laughs> split you see I got a points file I think yeah this is fun to get in there Should be good. Do the dollar bell trick. Just just to run some paper in between it. If you can get it in there. It's hell to get it in there.
Yeah, get some black shit off. Um, they say don't put any lube on these is what I've heard. But, well, I don't have any to put on there. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we have spark. Yeah, that gap looks right to me. No need to even check, but I will. It's 20 thousandths and it's, uh, it's a little tight. Okay, we'll set those up. Well, actually. So you loosen this guy. You try to loosen it. Perfect. Believe it or not. <clears throat> Check it again. Yeah, that's good. If you note here, there's a little diamond thing and that's pointed right at the arm here. Okay, let's see if we got a spark now. Just buy a new one. All right, I took off the connections here. That thing always looks like a piece of shit, doesn't it? No matter what you do, and we'll clean those up. And we'll probably clean this one up too, and we'll give it another try until we determine that uh, yeah, it needs new points of condenser. It's gonna take all the bolts and clean them off. This is the cleanest one of them all. The others had rust and stuff. Little lube put them back in. So you think it'll start? No. I have my doubts. A lot of oil down there too, so it's gonna smoke. If it starts. We also have the gas. There's some gas in the tank, so the gas is on. I'm sure the carb's totally clogged. Choke is on. Let's see what happens. Getting any gas at all. That'll be next. Let's see if we can make it do that again. Yes, sir. All right, I got the machine tipped up because these two screws here are just, uh, they're not even Phillips and I can't get those out and they're on sheet metal. So I'm just taking the bowl off from here. And the main jet is very stiff. So I'm gonna loosen up now for about 100 turns. Ball off. 
Yeah, why wouldn't it run on that? Can you see up inside there? Hang on a sec. Look at this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Look at it. It's ice. It's from water. Big chunk of ice. Hmm. Yeah, that reminds me. It's time for lunch. Okay, we got this cover off here. I heated up the uh, screws and I was able to get them out. Um, you can see this is where the primer goes. I do have another one too. Looks like it's screwed in there. I don't think the new ones do that. It's a carb setup, a uh, choke setup. And now we can see that really hideous bowl situation. But I think um, I think we're gonna try to go with this carb. Let me get the uh, float off, etc. Okay, there's everything. I think I'm gonna bring them inside the house and clean them up. If not that, maybe find uh, some other parts that are better. But actually, they look like they'll clean up. Yeah, we got everything clean, but we had a snag that the uh, seat. In here is totally messed up. You can see it's totally decayed. I gotta try to get it all out of there. And I do have a new one. It's a, it's a little rubber thing. I'll show you in a bit. And I got out the old one. That rib part faces down, so I'll put the new one in like that. New seat is in. I pushed it in with this punch. Went right in, just whoosh, bombed it out. Everything looks good. Battery's about to run out, of course. I'm gonna run this in and put it out. Half, one, one and a half. Let's go two. But two turns there. We'll see if it starts. Oh, I also noticed it like that looks like a crack right there. I'm sure that's gonna leak. So I don't think we'll be using this car probably. But let's see if it starts. Yep, it's leaking from there, but let's see if it goes. I climbed it a little bit. Just a little, little gas on the spark plug. Old battery's about to run out. That's why I'm rushing.
attacking my tools. <laughs> hey, big success today. Got it running. It actually purrs. The carb leaks like a bitch because of that plastic fitting here. You can get these. Um, you can put on another carb. That would be good. Uh, auger works. The drive works. I tried to put some slime in the tires and uh, rotate them a little bit to get the slime in there. This one might be holding. The other one is not holding. Which is too bad. These tires cost a fortune. Yeah, there's a reason to scrap it, really. But, um, yeah, success. Uh, gonna just put everything back on and put it away under here someplace until I can, uh, until the blizzard goes by and we can pay a little more attention to it. Drop off the farther west you go. So in Western Mass, it's a, a light snowfall. <laughs> well, today's Saturday snowstorm as we 